So, welcome to the first episode of a new series of Is It Possible to Have a Good Night Out in a certain town? We have made it to Melton Mowbray. And where better to start your night out than Wetherspoons? Off we go. Pub number one, the kettle we cross. Wetherspoons drink number one. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do halves or spirit in a mixes or a bottle in every pub so that you could get round a lot more if you wanted to do a whole crawl and see a whole town. So that tends to be what we do. So drink number one in Wetherspoons, which is quite a nice little Wetherspoons. Kettle be cross. It's half a Corona for me and half a, 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 what a Copperberg for Holly. So as far as Wetherspoons go, uh, you know, it's all right, isn't it? What do you think? It's all right. First way since guys, alright, it's quite a nice, quite a smart one. So it's now, if we're doing our, our little walk, it's now about a three minute walk to our next pub. Three minute walk from the Kettleby Cross, this would be stop number two, uh, with the Grapes, it's a lovely little pub. Uh, quite narrow, goes back quite a long way, dog friendly. Just a nice little pub in general. Uh, but we've already done it. So we're gonna bypass this one and we're just gonna walk down here and round this corner. Your next port of call would be the Crown, uh, another one that we have done already on our first trip. So we're bypassing that and we are going just down here in front of us, past the gorgeous church of Melton Mowbray. So our next stop for the evening, if you want to do a nice little call around here, is the Anne of Cleves. Just look at what beautiful building this is. We've never been in this one. It's got a blue plaque though outside. Thomas Cromwell, eh? What a beautiful looking building. So in we go. So I'm just inside the Anne of Cleves and I've just got to show you around, this is absolutely beautiful. What an absolutely stunning pub. This is, this is well worth the walk if you're in Melton Mowbray. Hopping great beer garden on it as well. Stunning little pub, the Anne of Cleves. Uh, what would have been next on our list, because we haven't done it yet, would be the Noel's Arms, but it looks very much shut down, sadly. So we're led to believe just here is the Harbour Hotel. So we're going to go and check on that. And at the end is the Boat Inn, just in front of me. So, I mean, we've only walked three, four minutes from the town. The train station, literally, where we got off, is right there as well. Um, so the boat in, just down there. Uh, we've been in there before, so we're not gonna go in today, but it's an absolutely beautiful place. Well worth a little walk down the town. So we've just come out of the Harbour Hotel. There's the name. Uh, literally, just down there is the boat in. So we've done that already, so we're not gonna do it. So we're gonna now walk, I'm gonna turn you around, up past the Anna Cleves, where we came from. It's about a five minute walk, just back up, if that. Uh, I said, you can do all these in one evening, dead easily. So it was probably a two minute walk, if that, from the Harbour Hotel. And we are now at what would be your next port of call if you were here. Montero Lounge. Uh, Cafe, part of the lounge brand. Very nice, we've done it before so we don't need to go in because we've ticked this one off already. So it's gonna carry on down this road. And literally, another one that we've already done, about 10 yards further away. I'm gonna show you as well. This one's cash only, if I remember, when we were here last time. We need to come back and go up that road in a minute as well, but it's not, again, nothing in Metal Mowbray is really fast. You could get everything done in one night. But this is, so that's how close it is. This is the Black Swan. Uh, it was nice, friendly, decent enough boozer. Um, so yeah, literally just down from Montero Lounge. So you can get those done. Uh, we're gonna go and check on the White Heart now. So we'll see if that's open or not. About another minute's walk up here. The result, it is open. Last time we were in Melton, this, the White Heart, uh, we were told it to close down. So it's nice to see it back open. And it's got a lovely, look, this is what we like to see at all pubs, look. Uh, so we're onto the vodkas now. So the White Heart is back open, it's very nice inside, actually. Uh, glad it's reopened. You know what, on a Thursday night they're doing karaoke! <laughs> Why did we come this way first? So seriously, like, uh, don't listen to me. If you were going to do your, uh, your night out, this is where you'd finish on a Thursday night. You'd finish in here, because they're doing karaoke. Uh, so we couldn't get in this last time we were here either, because I think we came on a Monday and it was shut on Mondays, but now... The Generous Britain is closed down, so you can scratch that one off the list. But literally, if we, Holly's just, Holly's dying, I think. I'll go and see if she's right in a minute. The more important things to do, yeah. Somewhere in this little square, apparently there is, oh, it's right in front of me. Look, there are people there. That is a, a little micro pub. And then just round the corner, round this uh, 
the big cinema round to the right is where you've got uh, the cutting room and stuff. So literally, we've done we've done almost a full circuit. Yeah, yeah, the cutting room is there. We've done almost a full circuit of this town now, really quickly. So we're going to go in a micro pub, which is called Charlie's Bar, which is just there. Looks nice. So the micro pub Charlie's Bar that we walked into, I tell you what, this this place is absolutely uh, part of my friendship. This place is absolutely wicked. So look at this. We wandered in. And look, look, look up here, look. Charlie's Angels is like a dog wall of fame. But they also do, look at all these. Look at this. I love a fridge full of things like this, look. It's absolutely wicked. So everyone here, everyone here as well is well cool. Everyone here is well cool, well friendly, and it's just a really nice little place. If you've never been into Charlie's Bar in Metal Mowbray, you definitely should come along, because this is the sort of place that we'd probably end up spending ages. Stay weird on a wall. Holly's here, look. She's still here. She doesn't do any of the work, it's all on me. But yeah, this place is pretty wicked. So, as you wander out of Charlie's Bar around a corner, literally the corner that was just there, <laughs> ooh, you get to the cutting room, which is this whopping great boozer just here. Uh, we did it last time, so we're not gonna go in, but I'll tell you what, this is, uh, it's, it's a pretty special place. It's a stone gate. I believe so. Stone gate, um, it's really good. It's obviously an old cinema, hence why it's called the cutting room, but you walk out of there, you walk up here. And we're now heading to the top end of the town, I think something called Feathers. So, uh, according to Google Maps, which is the way you would find your way around, isn't it? You don't listen to me. Uh, we've got about a three minute walk on our hands. So, a three minute, 45 second walk, and we are at our destination. Fur and Feather is what it's actually called. There's a bar. There's also a barbecue smokehouse here. It's not open, but. There we are now. Fur and Feather cocktail bar. It's looking satisfying though. Look at that. Look at that. That looks good to me. So, fur and feather. You've seen the picture, so we're going to try it. Taste test together. We're going to taste this together. You know how much I love a pina colada. Here we are. We're going to the White Lion, which will be our last port of call, unless we go back for the karaoke. So literally from Fur and Feathers, we've walked three minutes again, back down what this, this is the High Street. I would have said it's the High Street. Uh, it's what I call it anyway, I don't know what it's actually called. Uh, down, uh, there is another pub about 200 yards past the White Lion called the Half Moon, which we've done before. Really lovely little old pub which is just worth you, you going to. And that basically is your pub crawl in Melton Mowbray. Right, don't judge us. Final pub of the night, four for a tenner. Don't judge us. Ah. Four for a tenner, good game. So as we leave the final port of call for the evening, the White Lion, the question that was posed at the start was, even on a Thursday, can you have a good night out in Melton Mowbray? Holly, can you have a good night out in Melton Mowbray? I think so. Yeah, I'd say so. Yes. Yes, you can. Question answered.